Hello students, my name is Omar Wumi Makinde, one of the facilitators for the course GNS 101, Use of Library. At the end of this course, you will be able to define a library, navigate your way in the library, assess information materials that will aid your success in the course of your stay in the university and for lifelong education. I'm sure you are going to have a refreshing time in the course of witnessing the lecture periods. A physical library will include four components. A place of building, collection of information materials, professionals that manage the building, and users of the materials. At the end of this unit, you should be able to, one, explain what is meant by the word library, and two, list the various ways this course can help in lifelong education. Definition of library. A library can be defined as a collection of information materials organized in a place, managed by relevant information workers, such as librarians, and made accessible to users for reading, study, and research. Historical development of libraries. Libraries developed because human beings saw the need to document and keep important information without distortions or loss of such information. The various stages of library development include Ancient times The major contribution to the development of libraries in ancient times was done by the Egyptians, the Sumerians, the Greeks, and the Phoenicians. Another period in the course of library development was the medieval time. And in the, during the medieval time, there were three major types of library, which were the monastic, the cathedral, and the university libraries. The Sans period was also another period when libraries witnessed a considerable development. As the invention of the printing machine by John Gutenberg of Germany in 1450 brought an increase in the number of books in libraries and also more meaningful and systematic way of organizing library books. History of libraries in Nigeria. Before the 20th century, there were archives of book collection centers in the northern part of the country. In the late 1920s, the Lagos Book Club was formed and it was up upgraded to become Lagos Library on the 29th of September, 1932. In December 1943, the British Council opened the library in Lagos. In 1948, with the establishment of the University College Ibadan, which later became the University of Ibadan, the first university library in Nigeria was established, while the National Library was established in the year 1964. Now we are going to consider the importance of libraries in education. The roles that library, libraries play in your education include provision of conducive reading environment, supplying all the information material that you need but cannot afford to buy, helping you in the course of your lifelong development, helping you to learn independently and widening your knowledge in the university. Libraries stock information materials like newspapers, magazines, which you can read during your leisure time. They also help you to develop good values, attitudes, and outlook in life. They help you to know about other people and their ways of life. They help you to form good reading habits, and they also help you to become great thinkers and great leaders. Having 
come to the end of the lecture, we are going to entertain some questions. Thank you very much, ma'am. We really enjoy your stay with us and we appreciate you. My name is Ahmed. Uh, the question I want to ask is, can you try and clarify further on the meaning of life? Okay. The meaning of a library has to do with somewhere where you have books that you can use, not like a publisher's warehouse where the books are just laying, waiting for people to come and buy, or the bookseller's shop. A library basically has four components, which include a building, the information material, information workers, and the information users. But let me tell you that that definition may not necessarily go for a virtual library, which you can access anywhere, anytime, if you have the necessary information communication technologies, like your phone, like your laptop, and some other ones. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, as is my name, ma'am. It's a wonderful lecture, time, ma'am. Thank you. My question is this, ma'am. How has the Renaissance period affected the, the library of today, ma'am? The Renaissance period was a period when the library witnessed a major development. Because it was then that the printing press was invented by a German named Gutenberg. And because the printing press was invented, publishers were able to produce many books. And because there were many books in circulation, there was the need to store these books in an organized manner. Therefore, libraries developed. By way of summary and conclusion, a good definition of a physical library should include such components as a building, information resources, information managers, and information users. If you know these mnemonic, big up, it will help you to remember all these components. B for building, C for collections, U for users, and P for personnel. You should always also remember that libraries are very vital in educational institutions as they play important roles in your academic success and development in life.